Hello, everyone. This is Yeshua said my name. What I'm about to say to you, I cannot stress enough, and I'm praying that by the power of the Spirit, you will take me seriously with what I'm about to say, and not only in this video, but with this next statement. I truly believe that due to the 501c3 status of churches in this nation uh, and even around the world that are being infiltrated by the Jesuit Vatican Army uh, and the Freemasons, that you will not get the truth about deep biblical topics and how world events uh, that are happening today relate to biblical prophecy. You are not going to hear behind the pulpit about end time prophecy, about lying signs and wonders, about the Jesuits and Freemasons infiltrating the harlot daughters, which are the denominations from Rome. Uh, you will not hear the Vatican being exposed, and I could go on and on and on. The New World Order uh, being preached about as uh, Lucifer's last attempt to try and unite the world under his rulership uh, apart from Christ. You are not going to hear these things being spoken of. Now, if you do, then you are blessed to have a leader in your church body who has been anointed by God to preach and reveal these things. Uh, I am not a prophet. I would never claim to be that. I am simply a watchman on the wall. Uh, I feel that God has drawn me for the past two and a half years to keep up with his channel. He gives me a fire about it, uh, and I can't stress it enough. Um, I'm simply an average everyday person that God has definitely called me to be a watchman. There's a difference between a watchman and a prophet. I am not a pastor. I'm not a prophet. I'm simply a watchman on the wall. And God has definitely given me the desire to blow that trumpet, to expose the deeds of darkness, according to Ephesians 5.11. Uh, you will not, in 501c3 run churches, hear the topics that are talked about on this channel or other truly anointed born-again believers on YouTube exposing these things these deep things of scripture and how they relate to prophecy, in my opinion, you will not hear them in an organized church body. If you digress to one of my other videos, you will realize that I went over 501c3 churches, what that means, and why you are not hearing these titles and subjects and uh, world events as they pertain to biblical prophecy being spoken of behind a pulpit or in classrooms. Uh, you are given the sword of the spirit. You are anointed by the Holy Spirit to according to Ephesians 5.11, expose the deeds of darkness. No one has to give you a degree. You don't have to go to seminary. You are chosen by God like the apostles were chosen by Christ. And it says in the book of Acts, they were uneducated, untrained men, but people knew they had been with Christ. You, if you are born again of God's spirit, are called and mandated by Christ to expose the deeds of darkness, Ephesians 5.11. Now your ministry in Christ may be different than someone else's and how he calls you to spread that word. But I want to get into lying signs and wonders and how that is becoming more and more prevalent. I want to use scripture to show you that Jesus foretold of the very signs, lying signs and wonders that we are seeing. Uh, and that he calls, he does not applaud those who seek after these lying signs and wonders or seek after signs and wonders from him. Uh, so I want to get into, I'm going to show you a video towards the end of this uh, particular video that I'm doing. I'm going to show you some scenes from what is called the miracle of the sun uh, and how people worship Mary, believe that she is appearing in apparitions to them. Uh, the sun pulsates uh, or they see these glowing orbs appear in front of them and people are praying to Mary and the Hail Mary and doing the rosary and, uh, you know, astonished and, oh, Mary. And, and I mean, where do you see these scenes? But these are the lying signs and wonders these are the evil spirits going out into the world to deceive the masses. Uh, Jesus clearly states through the scriptures that a generation that seeks after signs and wonders is wicked and adulterous. Any sign or wonder that comes from the heavens that glorifies God, that points you in the direction of Jesus Christ, is from the Lord. And that is God's decision to do that. Notice when Jesus walked the earth and he healed people. Uh, or performed a miracle, he often would do it taking the person off in private. He never made a show of what he could do in front of other people. Notice that? He was very discreet about it in many, in many instances in the scriptures. But let's get into the scriptures here before I show you these scenes from these lying signs and wonders. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Having faith is the substance of things 
that are hoped for. Faith is the reality of things unseen. So who authors our faith? Jesus Christ. The world believes because they see. We believe in Christ because he authors our faith. And if we have that faith, that is our eyes to believe what is unseen, according to the scriptures. We walk by faith, not by sight. Uh, I want to get into Luke 21, 25. Jesus states here, which is going to point back to this video that I will show you. He says here in Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. Now, I want to focus on the sun right now, signs in the sun. Now, these are signs that Jesus told us that the beast or the dragon, Satan, Lucifer, would use in the last days to deceive the inhabitants that dwell on the earth. And this is covered greatly in the book of Revelation. So I want you to focus on Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun, Jesus said. And as I get to this video that I will show you certain scenes from called the miracle of the sun, uh, I want to show you how what Jesus was talking about here. And these lying signs and wonders from these deceiving spirits are going forth into the world and deceiving the masses. And this is part of Satan's plan to draw attention off of Christ and onto Mary, Mary worship. Uh, any angel that appears from heaven that is truly a righteous angel will never draw attention away from Christ, will never draw attention to Mary or an apostle or a dead pope or anything like that. It will That angel will always draw attention to the Lord Jesus Christ, whose name is above every name and far above every power and principality. Uh, John 20, 29, Jesus said uh, to Thomas here, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. Again, faith is the substance, the reality of things hoped for, the evidence of things not visibly, physically seen. Christ praises those who believe him and take him at his word without physically seeing manifestations of signs and wonders. Now, there are manifestations of signs and wonders that do come from God, and there are those that come from uh, evil. I want to, uh, let me see if I can find this verse here um, for you, showing that in the scriptures. I'm sorry for the delay here. It's taking a while to load here. Let me see if I can find, get this to load for you. Okay, here we are. Bible verses about signs and wonders. Now, the false signs of the lying signs and wonders are coming from Satan. Now, when Jesus decides to perform a wonder, a healing, uh, he does it discreetly. He does it to glorify the Father. He does it to show his love and goodness. Satan will perform lying and signs and wonders through his fallen angels, through demonic forces, to distract men and women from the one true God. OK, uh, it says here in Second Thessalonians 2, 9, even him talking about Lucifer working through the Antichrist, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Jesus says in Matthew 24, 24, for there shall be false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. This is why if you do not know the word of God, if you do not know Jesus in a personal, intimate relationship, you will be deceived by these signs and wonders. And Jesus said, if it were possible, this will be so good, it, it could deceive the very elect. Okay, um, let me see here. So, you know, Second Timothy, uh, know this also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Satan knows people want the light show. Satan knows they want this the outward signs and manifestations of something they can see, touch, and feel. Jesus said, blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. An adulterous and wicked generation, Jesus said, seeks after signs and wonders. We are told in the scriptures to test the spirits to see if they are from God. These people that you are about to see in this video that I will show you, they're not testing the spirits. They don't know the scriptures. And just as Jesus prophesied, and as Paul prophesied, they are being led astray by the power and the workings of Satan with lying signs and wonders that are distracting them from the one true God in these last days and onto a Luciferian agenda. So let me take you to these uh, to this video. Uh, 
Part of it is a little lengthy. If you want to skip ahead through it as it's playing, feel free, but I think it's all significant. Uh, and um, uh, it says here, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Miracle of the Sun. And you can look up these videos as well in other areas on YouTube. What I want to stress here is as you watch these lying signs and wonders from Satan, uh, you see the people worshiping these, these apparitions. They're worshiping what they believe is Mary. Now, Mary would never draw attention away from Christ. And, but because these people do not know the word of God, they're deceived and they're led astray. In the Catholic churches today, there are no Bibles in the pews. The people are being controlled by a lack of God's word in the churches. Satan knows if they have access to God's word, their eyes could be opened and they could see through this deception of Satan that is going on. These people are praying to Mary in these videos. They're worshiping her. This is satanic and it is idolatry. Now you will not hear these things spoken of in the churches. We're told in the Protestant churches today, oh, you know, Catholicism is born again, Christendom as well. It's just a different denomination. No. In Revelation chapter 17 and 18, she is said to be the mystery Babylon, the harlot church. And then her sins have reached to heaven and God will judge her in Revelation 18 by destroying her. <laughs> so he tells you, get out of her, my people. So if you're a Protestant listening to this and you believe Catholicism or the Vatican and the Pope are just another Christian denomination, they are pagan. They are run by a Luciferian agenda. And I'm going to be getting into another video soon proving this more and more acutely for you. So you see this in case you're in doubt. Lying signs and wonders are taking place. And I want to focus on the sun that Jesus talked about. There will be signs in the sun. He's talking about lying signs and wonders. So let's watch. Satan knows people will believe what they can see, touch, and feel. Jesus said, if you seek after this, you're a wicked and adulterous generation. Look at the sun moving down here. Can you see it? Miracle of the sun, they're calling it. Now, I want to pause this for a second. There is a, and it's, the Lord just brought this to my mind. This is something I need to go over as well. There is a doctrine within the Jesuits and the Vatican and even the Nazi regime of Germany that calls it the order of the black sun. All right. So they, and believe it or not, there's a whole cult around this order and worship of this black sun. And I want to get into this with you in another video. There's so much I could cover. There's just never enough time. All right. So let's get back to this. They love it. It's like a, huge host. a host. They call it a host. See that? Worship of the sun, the host in the Catholic mass. She just called it that. There's an apparition, signs in the sun, Jesus said. Listen to these people. This, along with the UFO agenda, is going to be more pronounced. Listen to this. And you'll see a, a vision of an evil spirit here representing Mary. There it is right here. You can see it on the screen here. It's supposed to be, uh, it, this is a demonic spirit 
A lying sign and wonder, guys. Here's an orb. People are just worshiping it. Oh, thank you. Mm. This is nothing compared to what is coming on the earth in our generation. The appearance of aliens and UFOs, which are fallen angels and demonic forces. These kind of lying signs and wonders are coming on the earth and they will be more and more manifest as we near the return of Christ. I promise you that. Let me skip ahead here a little bit. They pray to Mary here. Listen. Those clouds have not moved. There's no wind. Let's say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, woman, the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. She's not praying for you, and she cannot even intercede for your sin. He keeps saying Ave Maria. Santa Maria, they're praying. Now, I speak Spanish pretty fluently. Uh, this is Italian, obviously. Uh, basically, what they're saying because their sister languages is guard us, son. They're thanking Mary for giving a sign of herself through the sun and asking for uh, to be guarded and protected in Italian. This man's praying to Mary. The sun is pulsing. Mm. These lying signs and wonders from fallen angels and demonic spirits will be so great. If it were possible, it could deceive the elect. You need to know the word of God so you can answer these things as they come on the earth. Men's hearts will be failing them for fear. Do you have an answer for the unbeliever? Idolatry. Paganism. There's the lying signs in the sun again. Now, Satan knows the world wants to see these things. And he's going to give it to them so that he'll distract men's hearts away from the one true God onto him, Lucifer. skip ahead a little bit this has been going on for a while but it's been more prevalent since Fatima in 1917 more prevalent I should say this is idolatry it's Mary worship it is the lying signs and wonders and evil spirits going out and deceiving the nations 
They call it the miracle of the sun. And if you look up these videos online, I encourage you to look up more of these things uh, if the Lord leads you. So you can witness to people, so you can expose it for what it is. We are to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and expose the devices of the enemy. How can we, how can we do battle if we don't know the devices of the enemy? Many Christians will say, well, I'm not going to look into those things. Well, we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Uh, the Lord tells us these things will happen in his word, yet we are not studying to show ourselves approved, so we have an answer for everyone that asks us. No one goes into battle against an enemy not knowing what the devices of the enemy are. That would be foolish, wouldn't it? So this channel is to encourage you to start studying the word of God, pick up the sword of the spirit, and expose the deeds of darkness according to Ephesians 5.11. Stop being ignorant. Stop waiting for a pastor or denominational label to give you the truth. You start praying and seeking the Holy Spirit and reading God's word and asking what he would have you to do to go out and expose these demonic, satanic, fallen, angelic lies and lies and sci signs and wonders that are taking place that are deceiving the masses. We need to know the devices of the enemy. So when people say, oh, I don't focus on that. Okay, fair enough. But I've been called to be a watchman and I'm, I feel like it's important to urge the body of Christ to not only know about these things, but to know what the enemy is doing so you can then go out and refute it with the word of God to bring these deeds of darkness into the light and expose them for what they are. Um, God bless you. Thank you for listening and more to come soon. Lord willing.